Hey guys and welcome back to my geek channel. I'm Grumpy No Friends and today I'm going to show you how I managed to fix a problem we had with the game crashing. If you find this video helpful please consider liking and subscribing to help the channel grow and check out GNF Geek Stuff for more content. I figured out that the crashing was happening because of the graphics card overheating so I used a program called MSI Afterburner to tweak it so I could control the fans. Link in the description below. So your game's just crashed. You've been brought to the screen or your computer's completely restarted. So what I'm going to show you now is where your save games are to recover those files. So then you can put it back. You may go back a little bit in time you know, since the last save, but at least you don't have to grind all over again. I will also show you one fix that I found using a program called MSI Afterburner to control my fan speeds of my graphics card and I set them to a certain point so then now I no longer get any crashes. So where are your save games located? For Steam users go into the C, your C drive or where your, your main drive go into programs x86 go into Steam Steam apps common where your games are usually located and look for PAL server open that open your pal folder open your saved open your saved games this is a unique code that's generated for when you create each of the world and each of your players so we go into each of those so here is the backups here are the files that we need to change so for multiplayer the files you'll need to change a player level save level meta save but don't forget local data save is if you're hosting the game that is you so that is your profile that is that you can change all of those and it'll put you back to where where you before the crash however all your progress of um, when you're doing the tutorials part all that will be reset if you do not change the local data now if you're just doing a single player game then local data save is the one you want to replace so how do we do that we go into backups there's your local world for if you're locally playing this is the world for multiplayer do not use this last file this is the one that crashed so open the one before it to get the most recent file that you used players is all the players that are playing in the game levels and saves so we can do control a to select all control c to copy or for those who are not so familiar press the control key click each of the files right click and then say copy back out of the folder so we can use the arrow back out once twice to this location anywhere on the blank screen right click paste replace the files in this destination as you see it replaced those three files it did not replace my local data file so go back into the world Go into local, go to the same timestamp, copy, and then right click and paste. Now go back into the game, and then when you start the world, you now should see your world at the top of the screen. And then when you start into the world, you, you'll be able to continue the game just before the crash. Now for those of you who don't, are not running the Steam version, then this is where the files will be located for the save files. So into your C drive, into your user, into your user profile, into app data. Now if you do not see app data, this is because you haven't got them shown. So the easiest thing to do is into the file change folder on the search options view 
hide the files and folders, apply, this is how your view would be. We go in there and we say show or you can click simply click on view, hide these items and it will show them. So we want to go into app data, into your local and go down to you see pal. Here's the same files located at this location. You just replace the files in here as previously shown. Once you get to the Afterburner website, you simply click on the download. It'll download a zip file that's got an exe that you run. Once the, the file is installed, I'll show you how you can configure the interface so you can adjust the fan speed to cool down your graphics processor uh, to keep it cool enough so that you don't longer have any of those crashes. The first thing we need to do in MSI is go to options and at the top look for fan. If you don't see fan as an option then you will not be able to um, control your fan speeds using MSI and you'll have to look for another app that may be able to control your fan speeds. Here we need to check the user defined control box so we can manually control the fan speed. Now click on apply and then click OK to exit out. Now click on the arc symbol so we can make the changes to the fan speed. We want to unlink the power limit and temp limit so we can control these individually. I have set my temp limit to 60. As you can see my GPU temperature is currently at 22 degrees centigrade and I've set my fan speed to 70% just so that I can hear it, hear it going but it's not ruining my gameplay. Now all we do is we go to the save option and then when we click on the save to your right hand side you've got the 1 to 5 and you select which profile you want to save it under. To start the profile you, know, you click on the arrow key to the right of the save and to stop it the arrow key to the left. So that's all the configuration done. So all we do is when we start up MSI, we'd go to whichever our profile is, go to the arrow key to the right of the save, click on that and that'll start the profile. Once you've finished doing your gaming and you want to turn it off, you go to the left hand arrow key uh, and then close it down. Or if you leave it running, you know, when you can shut down your computer, if you haven't got it set to automatically start as soon as your computer boots up, then uh, um, the profile will be go back to exactly your original um, profile on your computer. This is how I managed to fix the game from crashing due to the graphics card overheating just by tweaking it with the MSI Afterburner. You can adjust the like power and the speed of the fan but 70% is what I use and it seems to work okay and the game hasn't crashed um, since. Yeah! I'm Grumpy No Friends. If you found this helpful, please check out my channel, GNF Geek Stuff, and consider liking and subscribing.